on this video we're gonna have a little bit of fun because we're gonna talk about some boxy charm possible spoilers updates and all that good stuff so as i mentioned in my previous video boxy charm is working diligently really really hard to get the rest of march boxes out because there was a delay and because of that they even pushed back the limited edition box that was supposed to launch in april so, and I, you know, if you want full details, I'm going to link the last video up here where I talked about a possible spoiler for April as well as that information because Joe did put up a video discussing the limited edition skincare box. Uh, but with that said, you know, um, they're still working on getting stuff back in order. And because of that, they haven't really released any April spoilers. Pardon the interruption. I feel like I've been doing this a lot lately, but I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that as I was editing my video, confirmation of the Pure Festival palette has been found. I did see that my subscription addiction confirmed it, but I'm like, where'd you get that confirmation from? But I did go on Instagram and I did find that BoxyCharm Sneak Peek actually has confirmation on there. So the way it works is, let's say you wanted to cancel your BoxyCharm subscription. When you go to cancel, they give you like a pop-up and it asks you if you're 100% sure because if you cancel, you're gonna miss out on a specific item that will be in the next box. In this case, it would be April's box. And it just so happens that the product that they showed is the festival palette by pure so that right there is confirmation that that palette will be in the month of april i'm going to put the photo up here for you guys so you can see it for yourselves this photo came out of the boxy charm sneak peeks instagram story so credit to her credit to my subscription addiction because without them i wouldn't have figured this out honestly i would have not also i am just staring how I'm a little into myself right now because this lighting is everything. I'm using like natural lighting right now. I'm facing a window and it is doing the most. Anyway, I'm going to get back to the rest of the clip. Um, I'm going to show you a few things that I saw and Boxy Preview did post on her Instagram account. So just know these photos are hers. But keep in mind, in my mind... They're not really spoilers until Joe talks about it. And that's something that she and I spoke about in our live over on Instagram. We did do a live on this past Sunday. If you're not following her on Instagram or me, make sure you go follow us. She did ask how I felt about the spoilers or possible spoilers. And in my mind, this is just what I think. Unless Joe talks about it, they're not really spoilers because... I mean, the staff doesn't generally release spoilers. Now, given the fact that he's been traveling and the staff have been in the office and certain things are popping up, now I'm starting to believe, I'm starting to become a believer, okay? And I'm starting to believe that, yeah, maybe staff is um, releasing some of the spoilers. It was recently National Puppy Day. I think that's what it's called, Puppy Puppy Day. Anyway, they ended up having some puppies over at the Boxy Chum headquarters, and they basically started posting Instagram stories with the puppies. Now, behind the puppies, you can kind of see some items. Let's start off with the Glam Glow. I'm not 100% sure. In my mind, my argument was, well, you know, brands send them stuff so that staff can try it out and decide if they want to see it in a box or not. So how do you know for sure that it is a spoiler or not that, oh, it just so happens to be in the background because of the fact that the puppy is right in front of the desk. I don't know. I don't know if it's something that's going to end up being in the limited edition skincare box or it'll be in the regular box. That's something for us to wait and see. Now in this photo, you can see a Glam Glow box. It's one of the yellow ones, and it is their Insta Mud product. Is it coming for April? No one can tell. We don't know. Is it a spoiler? I'm starting to think it can be. With that said though, if you've purchased the item yourself, do you think that it'll fit in a Boxy Charm box? Because at this point, I'm thinking this may be an item that can end up in the limited edition box, and maybe it's a spoiler for the limited edition box, but I've never actually Actually purchased and one of those items in those boxes so I can't say if it's gonna fit in the regular box because if it does fit in the regular box then it may end up being in a regular box then we're gonna move on to this product over here and what's funny is the puppies were actually uh, I think it was Joe's desk so they were taking over and in this photo you do see this area here is in the far left of his desk like the front of his desk and it is a pharmacy honeymoon product that's really what it looks like you really can't see the name of the product 
because it's a turned backwards but you can see like the design on the back and the design at the top and charmers are amazing y'all narrowed it down really quickly yeah i'm pretty convinced this is the box from the photo so it's something to look forward to getting a confirmation of um pharmacy products have not let me down so far so apparently this product is a resurfacing night serum with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids i'm not going to give you full details pricing and all of that quite yet just because we haven't received confirmation yet so there's kind of like no point to that i don't want to hype it up more than need be i just want to give you guys proper updates of what charmers are finding what is going on if joe has released a spoiler or not and just as a reminder this is all information that charmers are digging up because we're waiting for Joe to release spoilers and he hasn't done that yet. Moving on to the brand spoiler. So Hank and Henry did a live over on his Facebook account and in his live, he was talking about BoxyCharm. I guess they were asking him about BoxyCharm and he did say that Hank and Henry would be featured in BoxyCharm boxes twice this year, which is amazing. I did receive one of his lipsticks and they were really good. I love the shade that I ended up getting. So I'm curious to see what other Hank and Henry products BoxyCharm is looking to include in a box. Um, do keep in mind that we did get a lipstick, so I'm hoping that we get one of his like powdered products, maybe like a shadow, one of his duos, something to that effect, or maybe something that is like a brand new launch. Just saying. And then I'm gonna put a post up here. Again, all of these are boxy previews, but, oh, okay. So apparently there was a conversation going on under someone's post, basically, you know, and Mac Daddy responded. So an Instagrammer writes, OMG, please tell me you have something in the April box. And Mac Daddy, who's the owner of the brand Artist Couture, wrote back, there may or may not be. And people are really excited about that. Artist Couture has been featured in a box, I believe, once before we got his glow, what is it, the glow powders, glow getters? I mean, I ended up getting, I think it was Yas or another one. Anyway, I owned one before. I absolutely love them. They're really nice. I don't like that they're a little messy, but, you know, I love the quality of the product. I have no idea if, if... His brand is included over on a boxy charm box again. What they're going to be featuring this time around, because it's been some time since Artist Couture was featured in a boxy charm box. Now, don't get overly excited. There is no guarantee. He did say may or may not be. Everyone knows that boxy charm is hyped, okay? And boxy charm is a big deal. So you never know. Maybe he just said that because he just wanted to mess around with people. I have no idea. He is a sweetheart, by the way. Um, but it's just like you just never know. You know what I mean? So just keep in mind there is a possibility. Is it guaranteed? No. We have to wait for Joe to confirm anything and everything going on BoxyCharm related, products being featured, brands, and all that good stuff. And last but not least, here is a reminder, the charm room is down right now. It is closed. You will see nothing. They're working on adding new products. I am excited because I've racked up some, you know, of my charms. And I'm waiting to see what it is that they're going to be adding. They did feature a few products on their Instagram account. So the Luxie Airbrush Foundation will be there as well as the Elemis Peptide 1000 Flower Mask. You're also going to see cover effects and other Luxie brushes over on the charm room. So just make sure you've gone into your account and reviewed all the products so you can get as many charms as possible. The charm room will reopen April 5th at 3 p.m. So that is something to look forward to. You guys know I am going to be stalking them. Stalking them. All right, guys, that is a wrap up for this video. Let me know your thoughts down below on anything and everything that I talked about today. Like, are you excited for the charm room? Are you excited for Hank and Henry? Do you want Artist Couture in a box in the near future? You know, what do you think the Glam Glow box is going to be? Do you think it's going to be in a regular box? Do you think it's going to be in the skincare box? What do you think? I want to know. As per usual, my social media platforms are right here. Make sure you go follow me there if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.